This is how a Pure and Bean foundation is corrected step by step. By the time you reach this stage, the planning is already done. Early this morning, you finish digging the remaining access holes and install the last steel piers. With all the piers in place, the next step is setting up the bottle jacks and preparing the structure for lifting. Pure and Bean foundations like this one are heavier than most people expect. Many are built with concrete drill piers cast directly into the foundation, which add significant weight to the structure. Because of that, the lift has to be slow, controlled, and evenly distributed. Once lifting begins, you're not just raising the house, you're watching how the structure responds. On this project, the house was lifted about 1 inch, and the patio was lifted 2 inches, leaving a controlled 1 inch slope to maintain proper drainage away from the house. Once the lift is complete, the work isn't done. Each pier is then carefully shimmed, transferring the weight of the structure of the bottle jacks and fully onto the steel piers. With the structure now fully supported, the next phase begins, backfilling. As the soil is placed back into the holes, water is added in stages to help the soil settle and compact, reducing the chances of future voids or settlement. Once backfilling is complete, the final step outside is restoration. The soil is graded, the area is cleaned, and the landscape is restored to match how it looked before the repair began. By the end of the day, most of the exterior work is complete, with only the concrete patches remaining. Next, the structural wood goes in, new joists and beams will be installed, the crawl space will be reset and re-leveled, and the entire system will be finalized. Stay tuned to see how a pyramid beam repair is done from start to finish and the final transformation.